You're listening to the International Moving Podcast, your guide to moving to another country, brought to you by SDC International Shipping, LA's finest. An international move is exciting. It's a time to start over, establish a new business maybe, reestablish family ties, or retire where your budget will do more for you. Please enjoy today's episode, and if you have any questions about your international move, give us a call at 888-779-3962. That's 888-779-3962. All right, welcome back everyone. This is Jim for SDC International Shipping. Today we're going to talk about another hot spot for expats in 2024. I'm talking about the Netherlands. The Netherlands is now a top destination. As a matter of fact, there are several of them for expats looking to live and work abroad. Now, some destinations for expats are more focused around work while others are focused on retirement. Some are a combination of the two. Now, before we get into it, I just want to say that you can visit our website at sdcinternationalshipping.com. We have a load of information there. You can chat with someone live online. You can fill out our free estimate form and a lot more. So check it out if you haven't done so already at sdcinternationalshipping.com. We update the site every week. There's always new up-to-date information available there for you. Now, the Netherlands consistently earns high rankings as far as expat satisfaction goes. That's the ranking where we look at people who have lived in a new destination for a period of time and now they're ranking the area based on real life experience. Sometimes you know you move someplace and it's brand new and you're excited about everything and everything is positive. Then after a period of time certain things begin to crop up here and there of course, it's true anywhere, right? No matter where you are in the world. But eventually, the scale is going to tilt one way or the other. So when we're talking about expat satisfaction, of course, we're talking about it tilting in favor of remaining there. And they say that this is true of the Netherlands thanks to its higher quality of life, its diverse culture, promising career opportunities. So whether you're drawn by the excellent healthcare system or things like work-life balance or a thriving job market, the Netherlands has a lot to offer people who are looking for a new chapter in life in a welcoming uh, environment. So let's talk a little bit about what makes the Netherlands such a top choice right now for expats. So we can start with the quality of life. Quality of life is huge. And one of the most compelling reasons expats choose the Netherlands as their new home is the high quality of life. The residents benefit from an excellent health care system, excellent health care services, and those services are renowned for their accessibility and quality. The education system is also highly regarded with a focus on innovation and comprehensive learning. Also, the Netherlands boasts a well-developed infrastructure that facilitates efficient transportation, a big thing, especially if you don't want to own a car or pay the the costs that go with it, and connectivity across the country. Also, I was going to say last but not least, low crime rates also contribute to a sense of safety and security, making it one of the better places to raise a family or pursue general personal growth. So overall, the Netherlands provides a very high standard of living that caters to things like well-being and satisfaction of its residents. Next, the Netherlands are very open and very accepting of foreigners. And this isn't true in every country, not to get into the weeds too much on this topic, but I know for years, Americans maybe weren't as welcome in certain parts of the world as they were in others. And the Netherlands is celebrated for having a cultural of openness and acceptance towards foreigners, making it a welcoming destination if you're an expat. So this multicultural type of society embraces people from all backgrounds, and that helps to foster a sense of community and mutual respect among the people. Expats often report feeling integrated into Dutch culture, and it's something that doesn't come with a super effort, I guess you might say. 
They say that it's supported by initiatives that promote harmony and respect among the different groups that live there. And this atmosphere of acceptance contributes to a smoother transition for newcomers, encouraging them to fully participate in and contribute to the vibrant Dutch economy. So whether you're you're enjoying and exploring the bustling streets of a place like Amsterdam, or you're more drawn to a serene countryside, expats are met with warmth and hospitality. And this is reflecting the Netherlands commitment to having a welcoming environment for everyone. Next, we can talk about work-life balance and employee benefits. Work-life balance and employee benefits are highly valued aspects of living and working in the Netherlands. The Dutch prioritize a healthy equilibrium between a person's professional and personal life. And they have regulations ensuring a maximum 60-hour work week, well that is quite a bit, and a minimum of 20 days of annual leave. And this commitment to the work-life balance is complemented by a robust social safety net and comprehensive employee protections, including parental leave, healthcare coverage, and retirement benefits. These kind of policies promote well-being and job satisfaction among expats and among residents alike. So fostering a productive and yet fulfilling lifestyle in the Netherlands, this is something that is very high on their priority lists. Expats can enjoy pursuing their career ambitions while also enjoying enough leisure time to explore the country's rich culture and their picturesque landscapes. Now, there are career opportunities there in 2024 for expats. This is a big draw because career opportunities in the Netherlands are abundant right now, particularly in sectors like technology, engineering, and innovation. The country enjoys a thriving job market with a strong demand for skilled professionals from various backgrounds. Cities like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and uh, Edenhoven are renowned for their entrepreneurial spirit, their startup culture, and this offers expats a lot of opportunities to launch and grow a business there. Additionally, multinational corporations and research institutions These also provide avenues for career advancement and professional development, depending on what it is that you do, what your area of training and expertise is. And the Netherlands has a strategic location within Europe, and that also enhances its appeal because it's sort of a gateway to other international markets, which opens the door for further collaborations. Expats relocated here in this part of the world can look forward to and in and engaging in a dynamic type of growing industries. And who knows what you can do with your career there. I wish we could say the same thing was happening here in the United States. I know everything kind of goes in stages. You know, certain parts of the world are doing better than others right now. That's obvious. People are struggling here in the United States a little bit. Don't know how long it will last. It's hard to tell. You know, some people, of course, look at every situation from the negative. Some people look at every situation from the positive. I know there's probably not too many of those. But for the, for the majority of the people, uh, it seems like we're right in the middle right now. We, it's hard to tell whether we're going in the right direction or the wrong direction from here. So, and I guess it depends on your individual mindset also. But, you know, the bottom line is, is that people still purchase products and services. Companies are still... Um, you know, involved in new technologies, rolling out new things to in the world, regardless of whatever country you're looking at, really, the U.S., Germany, the U.K., Holland, other countries, too. So, yeah, we are in a time that is a little confusing as far as, you know, national debts go. We have national debt here in this country, like $34 trillion at the time of this recording, But on the other hand, some people look at that and they'll say, well, you know, on the other side of the coin, you know, we print money, as much money as we need. So there's kind of a a balance there. Other people say that it's the printing of the money that is the cause for inflation. And so, you know, somewhere in the middle is where we live our everyday lives. And I understand why people want to relocate to other parts of the world. I'm sure you do, too. 
sometimes people are in a situation where change is probably uh, better for them than not. You know, some you just never know what's going to happen until you pull the trigger, until you make the move. And so the Netherlands just happens to be one of those places where people are pulling the trigger and pulling it successfully. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this a little bit in today's episode. Now, one of the other things which is nice, we don't see this too much here in America. We see it more in Europe. But how easy it is to get maybe from your home to where it is that you work or where it is that you buy your groceries or where you go to the doctor. That was one of the things that made city life enjoyable in the past when the crime rates are lower for so many people because everything was within walking distance. I remember hearing stories of how my grandparents would walk to the store and buy their groceries for that day every day. And there were markets back then in the cities, some fresh markets where you would get stuff fresh every day. So, of course, things are a little bit different now once people started moving to the suburbs. But when you go back to the European culture, it still has that connectivity element there where people can go and buy what it is that they need. They can walk there, they can ride a bike, or the public transportation can take them there. And travel, transportation, connectivity is is much better there than it is in many places, or most places, I should say, here in the United States. So that's another key advantage of being in a place like the Netherlands if you're an expat. It allows you easy access to local amenities, international travel. And this country is known for its excellent, if not outstanding, transportation infrastructure. There's an extensive network of trains, buses, trams that efficiently connect cities and regions. And then there's major airports like in Amsterdam, that provide direct flights to destinations worldwide. And that makes it easier for both and convenient for travel, whether you're going for business or leisure. And if you're an expat there, it's easier to explore neighboring countries going by train or even by car, thanks to it being centrally located in Europe. And so this kind of uh, accessibility to other places not only enhances your mobility within the country, but also encourages you to go outward over the border maybe and enjoy some other locations as well, maybe some collaborations if you're in the business world. Now, tax benefits, we have to mention that because benefits for uh, expats in the Netherlands make it another attractive destination if you're a professional looking for a financial advantage. One of the notable incentives is the 30% ruling which allows eligible expats to receive 30% of their salary tax-free for a specified period. And this ruling aims to attract workers to the country by reducing the financial burden that's associated with a relocation. Additionally, the Netherlands also offers a favorable tax environment to foreign workers with various deductions and allowances available to optimize your tax liabilities Expats can benefit from expert tax advice and supportive um, navigation when it comes to the complexities of the Dutch tax regulations. And that way, you don't have to worry about being non-compliant and you can maximize your savings at the same time. So it's one thing to know that these savings are available. It's another thing to be able to practically take advantage of them because you understand. So having that expert advice available to you is a great thing to have because it also gives you that additional peace of mind that you're not going to get a nasty letter in the mail saying that you owe thousands of dollars because you didn't pay your taxes. Now, I would say, of course, when we're looking at moving anywhere in the world, um, and that includes the Netherlands, why would you choose SDC International Shipping for a move to the Netherlands? Now, the SDC can make a huge difference when it comes to a smooth, stress-free relocation experience. And here's why SDC International Shipping would stand out as your preferred choice for moving to the Netherlands specifically. Number one, SDC has expertise in international relocations, including the Netherlands. So when you have experience with navigating 
overseas relocations, especially we're talking about household moves. Any company can ship items from point A to point B. Hopefully they do it properly without any problems in between. But a lot of times when we think about shipping, we think about, well, shipping is shipping, right? They put things in boxes and crates and they move them from point A to point B. But when we're talking about international shipping for your household items and good goods, it's a little bit different because we're talking about the complexities that go with clearing customs. And so when you call SDC International Shipping, you'll be speaking with someone who is an expert in that region, the Netherlands, for example. We understand the unique challenges as well as the logistics involved in moving to the Netherlands and can provide you with a tailored solution to meet your specific needs. Next, Comprehensive Services, SDC International Shipping offers a full range of relocation services, including packing, shipping, customs clearance, and more. And so every aspect of your move is handled with precision and care, ensuring that your belongings arrive safely and on time in the new destination. Also, personalized support and guidance. This is huge. There is a dedicated team at SDC International Shipping providing personalized support throughout the entire moving process. From the initial planning to any post-move assistance, we are committed to addressing your concerns and ensuring a seamless transition to your new home in the Netherlands. For example, maybe you'll have to put certain things in storage here in the United States or storage temporarily in the Netherlands. Maybe this is something that happens at the last minute. And so SDC has been doing this for many years, and they're used to last minute surprises and issues that can turn up. So you have the peace of mind knowing that you're working with an experienced team in moving to the Netherlands. Next is efficient logistics management. SDC leverages advanced logistics management to help streamline your move. So the coordinated transportation, the scheduling, the documentation, those things are handled for you so you can focus on other aspects of your relocation with peace of mind. Attention to detail is another huge thing. Attention to detail is paramount when we're talking about an international move. And SDC really does excel in this aspect. They will take meticulous care of your belongings using the highest quality packing materials and techniques to safeguard your items during transit. So for example, maybe you have something that is a little big or heavy or awkward or fragile or a combination of all the above. And so if necessary, they will build a custom crate to make sure that that item is safe and secure from the moment it leaves your home to the moment it arrives and is unpacked at your new destination. Next, clear communication and transparency. This is huge. SDC International Shipping maintains clear communication and transparency throughout the entire moving process. You'll be informed every step of the way, and that includes providing updates on shipment status and addressing any questions or concerns promptly. And next, a proven track record. This is really important because SDC does have a proven track record of successful international relocations. SDC International Shipping has earned a reputation for reliability and professionalism, and they've already helped countless individuals and families move to the Netherlands smoothly and efficiently. So you don't have to worry that you're working with a company and they're using you as kind of like the experimentation phase as they get their processes in order. The folks at SDC realize that They've been in the moving business for many years, and they realize they're not just in the household moving business. They're also in the people business, and that's what makes the difference. So one thing I wanted to mention for those of you who maybe are a little bit older like myself, talking about the Netherlands, I remember you know, back in the day, we always referred to it as Holland. And I began to wonder what happened that made that switch from Holland to the Netherlands as far as how we refer to this part of the world this country and the official name of also known as the land of tulips and windmills was the kingdom of the netherlands and just a little bit of history just so you know it was founded in 1579 and it was a union of different provinces and cities who resisted rule 
by the Spanish. You remember one time the Spanish, well, another time it was the Portuguese, Portugal, were you know powerful kingdoms. And one of the provinces in the original kingdom of the Netherlands was the province of Holland. And Holland was divided into North Holland and South Holland. And that originated in the 12th century. So even after the provinces of the Netherlands united, Holland was still the dominant region inside of the Netherlands. And the cities of Amsterdam and Rotterdam and The Hague are in the Holland. So that's how that kind of works. And then a lot of the economic and political dealings, you know, outside countries were with the Hollands. And that's why the name Holland was so popular to people who lived outside of the region. So just a little little history there, a little fact digging that I went into. Uh, I was, I've been a soccer fan, football fan in European terms all of my life. And I was going back to the World Cup and I remember them talking about Holland being in the World Cup. And I started thinking, why didn't they call it the Netherlands? Anyway, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. I hope you found this talk about why the Netherlands is a top destination in 2024 for expats, insightful and maybe even a little inspiring. And of course, in closing, remember if you're planning to move to the Netherlands or anywhere else, SDC International Shipping is here to make that relocation as smooth and as stress-free as humanly possible. And yes, visit our website, SDC International Shipping, for more information. All right, that's all for today. As always, if you enjoyed this podcast, share it with a friend, share it online. This is Jim, and I will see you in the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thanks for listening. Whether you're relocating within the country or moving to the other side of the world, we're here to help from start to finish. Connect with us today at 888-779-3962. That's 888-779-3962. Six two.